Boy, oh boy, you are in for a treat today. We're going to be trying out some retro American candy. Hey guys, I'm Shinichi. I'm Satoshi. And welcome back to another taste test. Today we're going to be trying out some retro candies from America. This is so interesting to me because I have tried some of these when I was a little kid while I was living in Hawaii, but some of them I've never seen before. I know, nothing. <laughs> Thank you so much to Sheena and Ryan for sending these to us. We cannot wait to try them out. The first thing we have here is very interesting to me personally. This is called Neko, the original candy wafer, and these are made in the USA since 1847. Wow. Yeah, 1847. Yeah, so it's a very long history. Oh. And the reason why this uh, has personal meaning to me is because my uncle and my father loves these. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> they, they love these. I never knew about these until my cousin who came to visit me this year uh, brought these over for my father and uncle because it was their favorite. I was very surprised. I mean, I didn't know about these, but they knew about these. So each roll of the Neko wafers contains eight flavors. Looks like a drop, Japanese drop candy. Yeah, but it's nothing like a Japanese drop. Completely different. Look. It's named Wafers, so it is Wafers. Well, you know, check it out. I mean, look at this. Well, it's, it's kind of broken. Oops, oops, you're kind of broken. But that's okay because they'll taste the same. So there are eight flavors of these like wafers, these discs, and they're candy. So which color would you like to try? The green one. The green one. Okay. Looks like lime. Okay, sorry, it's a little broken, but oh. um, here you go. I will try the orange one. And I'll let you guess what that is. So, Daikimasu. Daikimasu. Mm. Mint? It tastes very American. The green is lime. Oh, you said lime. Mm. Lime flavor, and mm. mine is orange. I see. Orange color equals mm. orange. May I say about this taste? Yes, please. It's very artificial. Probably, most likely. <gasps> what? It's like a taste of root beer no it it, it, it says it's um lime lime but it, the taste is like the salon pass taste <laughs> you're absolutely right it kind of tastes like tiger bomb it does you are absolutely right let's try one more i'm gonna try the white one cinnamon the white is cinnamon super super cinnamony mm. what is that licorice <laughs> God, I didn't even know there was licorice flavor in here. I'm so sorry. Here you go, Satoshi. This is a Cracker Jack. Mm -hmm. Cracker Jack. Oh, new prize inside. <laughs> Means there are prize inside. Yes, <laughs> this used to be one of my favorites. I see. When this, I was a kid. This but looks like a popcorn. It, it is popcorn with peanuts. Oh. And I used to like this more for the prize than the food itself. But they weren't too bad. And the interesting thing is that this is considered America's first junk food. What does that mean? I have no idea. <laughs> so this is a three pack. So it's stuck together like this. Oh look, check it out. It says 120 years. The snack wow. America has loved for over 120 years. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Amazing. So you push here like, like that. And then you tear off the top. Uh -huh. And that's how you eat it. You know, like that. And then oh. I think the prize is inside here. So you have to eat it and prize will come out. Oh, really? So here, let me uh, pour it out onto this plate here. And maybe the prize will fall out. What? New prize. Oh, no. Where is the new prize? Oh, it's this? This Surprise. is the prize. Okay, lift and peel. What is this? A sticker? Lift and peel. Oh. Oh. It's, nope. a, it's a sticker, I guess. I have no idea. Yeah, I guess it's a, it's a sticker. So it's like caramel popcorn. And there are peanuts in here. When I was a kid, I, I didn't like peanuts, which is why I wasn't a huge fan of Cracker Jacks. And I have to say uh -huh. that the prizes were better when we were younger. Really? Yeah, there were actual like like toys in here. I see. Mm, which is why I really like enjoy like collecting these. So let's give these a try. Itadakimasu. I'm wondering if they taste the same. Oh, mm. Wow, the some, taste hasn't changed. Some peanut flavored caramel. Mm. Peanut flavored caramel. It, it, it's a molasses flavored caramel oh. coated popcorn. Molasses? Yeah. I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the peanuts are good too. They're sweet. Mm -hmm. mm. That's delicious. 
Now I love peanuts, so I actually prefer the peanuts to the popcorn. A nice texture. <laughs> isn't it? It's delicious, isn't it? Can you believe that this has been in existence for over 120 years? It's wow, kind of amazing, isn't it? 120 years. Mm. Wow. The next two we have are called the original Boston Baked Beans Candy Coated Peanuts and the original Lemonhead Lemon Candy. I do remember the Lemonhead. I remember this very well, mm. but I do not remember Boston Baked Beans. It looks like a baked beans. Yes, um, I think that that's why it's called um, big beans, but they're actually candy coated peanuts. So inside is peanuts. It's peanuts, yeah. Oh, it really looks like baked beans. Interesting. Yes, and they've been making these since 1908. Oh, wow. And oh. that's what they look oh. like. Oh. The sound is candy. Yeah. <laughs> But they do look like baked beans. Wow. Yeah, I, 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 I've never tried these before. Wow. Dakimas. Oh, it's hard. It's a hard shell. It's like sugar and peanuts. I imagined mm -hmm. it's very sweet okay. because it is a candy. Okay. But it's not, it's not so sweet. Mm -hmm. mm. Like less sweet than you imagine. Mm. Mm. Less, 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 mm. less sweet. No, mm. I think it's because it's peanuts on the inside and not chocolate. It's not sweet like an M&M or anything. Mm. This is interesting. I actually like these. These are actually quite tasty. Okay, and here we have the original lemon head. I had a love-hate relationship with this one when I was a kid because it was super sour. I see. You know? Okay, I take it back. They don't look like what I imagined. Oh. So I think I was thinking <laughs> about a different candy. These kind of remind me of the Boston Big Beans, but they're... Uh, yellow instead. Oh, that's pretty good. Mmm, a really nice lemon flavor. It's sweet and it's citrusy. It tastes like real lemon. They're using real lemon juice. They made it with real lemon juice. Now I taste it. Right? With the outside candy pop, mm. it, it doesn't have a strong taste. Mm. Mm -hmm. But inside, after I bite, mm -hmm. the lemon flavor came. Yeah, it's pretty strong, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. It actually tastes very um, natural to me. This one was first made in 1962. Oh, I see. I see Older I see, than I see, me. I see. The next one is really special, Satoshi. Mm -hmm. This one, I think the last time I had these when I was maybe six years old. I think after six or seven years old, like they no longer sold them at the store anymore. Why? I don't know. I don't know. They just kind of disappeared. But I remember that I like these a lot. The because, shape is a bottle. Yeah, exactly, exactly. They're like bottles and, and they, they are inside wax. It's juice inside a wax container. Huh? Yeah. So these are called Nikonip mini drinks. Now, isn't that interesting? Look at that. It looks like crayons. Doesn't even look like candy to me. Okay. So, so these were first made in the 1950s. Uh, first of all, which color? Please, please choose uh, whichever you want, Satoshi. The blue one. The blue one. Okay, I'll take the red one. So basically, um, you're supposed to nip it off or, or basically bite off the top and then drink the inside. The wax is not to be eaten, but they are non-toxic. So, so some people like to chew them like gum and spit it out later. So, so. Sorry, my face was just <laughs> surprising. <laughs> yeah, uh, should I try it? So you... Like, Mm. Off. Mm. And then you drink the juice. And that's it. It's like shave ice syrup. Mm. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? It's very unique, don't you think? You can choose the wax like bubblegum. I don't want to <laughs> try it. Mm. Yeah, it's like bubblegum. There's no taste. <laughs> it, it doesn't taste good. Check that one out. This is called the Charleston Chew. Yeah, this one was first made in 1925 mm. and it's named after the dance, the Charleston. Mm -hmm. I you know see. The Charleston? I, oh, the vanilla flavor. But it looks like it's marshmallow. No, this is a vanilla nougat uh, with nougat. a I chocolate see. flavored coating. They say that it's especially good if you freeze it in the freezer first, but we didn't do that. But I, I think, you know. I think it'll still taste good. So they're smaller mm. than I thought. I imagined that from the picture, mm. I think that the length is like this size. Me too, me too. <laughs> oh, that's delicious. It, it's kind of marshmallowy, oh, so taffy, mm. soft. Yeah, mm. it's, it's, I, I, you know, because it says nougat, I was expecting it to be harder, mm. but it's actually very soft, mm. like marshmallow mm. nougat almost. It's like a vitamin, marshmallow and chewing gum. And the chocolate is um definitely like milk chocolate mm. or 
mm. something. Mm. Vanilla um, flavor? Vanilla, yeah, definitely vanilla flavored mm. nougat. Mm. Yeah. I like it. But yeah. it stick to my teeth. <laughs> right, anything that sticks to your teeth you don't really like. All right, next up, we have something called Nerds. Nerds. Yes. And <laughs> Nerds. The, these were first made in 1983. So this was actually a little bit later. And Nerds usually contain two flavors per box. Like oh. this one. And each flavor has a separate compartment and mm -hmm. opening. So the two flavors of this one is Gotta Have Grape and Seriously Strawberry. Oh, two colors. Yes, strawberry and grape. Yes. Now, let me be honest with you. I've never had these before. I've never. I think by the time it was 1983, I was a teenager. So I think I was too cool for candy. Here we go. Oh, so this is what these taste like. They're a bit tart. I imagine the... <laughs> mm, right. But no, they're kind of flat. Mm. But sour. Mm. And fruity. Mm. Um, and you know what's interesting about this? There are no artificial flavors in here. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So they're using Whoa. real strawberry and real grape. I see. Yeah, I think that's why it's not very sweet. The next one is called Kyuryobi in Japanese. <laughs> Which Pei translates day. to Payday. <laughs> payday. Yeah, in Japanese, it's called Kyuryobi. Kyuryobi. But this was introduced in 1932, and it's a candy bar that consists of salted peanuts rolled in caramel surrounding a firm nougat-like center. Mm. And this was a favorite of Bob Hope and Norman Alden. Yeah, two famous people. This was their favorite candy. This is interesting. I, I'm not too familiar with this bar. I remember, you know, this being sold in the stores, but believe it or not, I didn't eat candy when I was younger. Okay, dogimasu. Dogimasu. Salted oh. peanuts. Is this, it's salted, isn't it? No. It's pretty, pretty salty. Mm. Soft <laughs> nougat on the inside. But this is delicious. I, 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 I like this a lot. This reminds me of salted caramel. That, that's pretty much it. I mean, it tastes like salted caramel. It is, because it, it, it's salted peanuts rolled in caramel. Salted caramel with peanuts. The texture is comfortably chewy. Mm. Mm. And the peanut taste, mm. Mm. it's really nice. Mm. Here we have a bar called Whatchamacallit. Huh? <laughs> Whatchamacallit. <laughs> and this was first made in 1978. And it's a peanut flavored crisp and a caramel bar covered in milk chocolate. I think I used to eat this when I was a kid. No, 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 no. I don't remember. 1978, how old was I? Although these are retro candy bars, or candy, I really don't remember most of these. Really? Yeah. Is it a wafers? No, a rice crisp? Mmm. Oh, mm. that's crisp. pretty good. Mm. Yeah. These are peanut flavored crisps mm. and caramel bar. Mm. It tastes like a current chocolate bar. Mmm, right. Right, like the kind that they sell in the stores these mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. I never knew that these were retro mm -hmm. because they still do sell these even in our neighborhood. Neighborhood? At the, at the, at the import store. Really? Yeah, so these are Andy's um, Cream de Mint. And I remember um, having these at a dinner party when I was younger, but I hated it because I didn't like mint huh? flavored uh, things. Mint, chocolate mint, mint yeah. chocolate. Mm. I see. But this is an after dinner mint, so you eat it after dinner. And um, these were launched in 1950 and has remained an American favorite ever since. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Oh, that's <laughs> delicious. <laughs> mm, what? I have nothing to say. You have nothing to say why? Mm -hmm. Do you want to explain to our friends why <laughs> you have nothing to say? This is divine. I think it is tasty, but no, you don't. originally, I, I'm not a good fan of mint chocolate. Yeah, yeah, you don't like mint chocolate. I, I, I on the other <laughs> hand, love anything mm. mint chocolate. I love mint chocolate chip mm. uh, ice cream. Oh, this is delicious. Mm. Oh, perfect balance of mint and chocolate. Okay, the next two are Tootsie Pops and Tootsie Fruit Chews or Fruities. I, I do like Tootsie Pops, but this is not Tootsie Pop. There's a candy called Tootsie Pop. It looks like this. It's like a brown color. That was one of my favorite candies. So I must admit that I've never tried these fruit chews. I have tried the Tootsie Pops though. I remember these. So these Tootsie Pops are hard candy lollipops filled with something on the inside. I remember now. I, I, I wanted to get to the inside so badly because I loved the inside when I was a kid. So it takes time. It does, or you can bite it. Mmm, I wonder what flavor this is. So these were invented in 1931, and their catchphrase was 
How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop? <laughs> that was your catchphrase. The inside of this is chocolate. There's chocolate in the center. Really? Mm. It's like a chocolate flavored chew, like a Tootsie Roll. I, I, it's a Tootsie Roll inside, I think. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get to the center, the chocolate center of these Tootsie Pops today. And let's try the fruit chews by the same company. Fruit chews? Mm. That sounds really interesting. Yeah. And you're going to try the, the pink the one, pink right? One. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, actually, I'm going to try the yellow one. So these fruit chews are a bit more recent. They were created in the 1970s. So the lollipops were invented earlier than these. It's like a caramel. Mm, like taffy. Oh, mm. Mm. it reminds me mm. of taffy. Mm. What is it? Yours is um, cherry. Ah, oh, cherry. Mm. Mine is lemon. Mm. Mine tastes like a lemon pie. Mm. Kind of custardy in here. Interesting. This is fun. It's the fun. Taste is fun. Really? <laughs> mm. I like these. These are very fruity. So mm. if you like fruit, I think you'll like this one. Mm. Okay, so the next are old fashioned bullseye. And these are caramel creams. These were introduced to market in 1918. A Baltimore oh. chewing gum company. Oh. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Chewing gum company. Yeah. The can the the caramel. Yeah. So so this is caramel with a cream center on the inside. Oh, cream center. Yeah. To uh, be honest, I, I don't know these candies. I I never tried this before. Oh wow. Mm. Mm. The inside is soft and like really like soft. like icing. Mm. It's like icing. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm, milky. Mm, this is interesting. It is. You get like two textures. Mm, I didn't expect it. I'm just, just like caramel. Mm, mm. Milk taste caramel, mm. I imagined. Mm. But it's not. It's really cream. I love this. Mm. Oh, this is delicious. Mm. Mm, it's so rich and caramelly and milky and creamy. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I want another taste of this caramel. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Maybe you can make some. Finally, we got something called Zotz. Zotz. Mm, that's a cool name. Zotz. Yeah, I don't remember this one either. Zotz cherry. Yeah, and th this is actually a, an Italian made company and mm. was introduced to America in 1968. I see. Isn't that interesting? So, this one, it says you have to eat it like a regular hard candy, mm -hmm. but there's something on the inside, so you have to like eat again. it. Again. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those <laughs> again. Okay. I'm gonna mm. bite into it. You should bite it. Eh, I don't have such a strong teeth. It's fizzy. Oh no. Oh, it's fizzy. I'm tired. That wakes me up. That keeps me from falling asleep, you know, from the sugar high and then the low that I get. Did you bite it? No. Can't. It's easy. It's so soft. Soft? Mmm. Mm. How strong your jaw is. I don't know. But this tastes like cherry to me. A cherry flavor. It's like a cherry soda, like a tart cherry soda. Hmm. <laughs> it's sour. That's why it's called Zots. Oh. <laughs> After trying out all these retro candy Satoshi, which is your favorite? I'm very interested. No, don't, 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 don't do that. You're gonna break your teeth. No, 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 don't <laughs> do that. Which one is your favorite Satoshi? I, I'm very curious to see, to hear, which ones were your favorite. Maybe. Pick two, two that you like, two or three. So it is very difficult because I just, wow. Okay. <laughs> I like this one, caramel cream. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, you look like you were enjoying that one. Okay. And also, this fruit chews. I, I'm surprised <laughs> that you like those. <laughs> I'm very surprised. You like it. Why did you like that one? The taste is good. Okay, because you usually don't like chewy candy. Yes, it, it always sticks to my teeth, mm. but this one doesn't stick to my teeth. Mm, very interesting. <laughs> you know, that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my favorites were the mint chocolate chip, of course. That one is really yummy. Payday. Payday. Payday is my second favorite That's one. That's what you want. The salty one. I, lo you know, I, I love salty and savory. I do, I do. Once again, thank you so much to Sheena and Ryan. We really had a great time trying these out. You brought back so many memories for myself. And it was really fun sharing these with Satoshi and to you guys. Um, if you guys are familiar with these snacks, let us know in the comments down below which ones were your favorite. And if you never tried these, which one would you like to try? They're all pretty good. <laughs> all are very new for me. 
Thanks for watching, and until next time, have a great day, everybody. Take care. Bye bye.